So I have just um, converted my uh, roll-off touring bike and commuting bike to belt drive to make it even better during the winter. And here's how it went. Okay, so here I'm just uh, showing you the uh, benefits of having a belt drive. So I've got a belt drive on my uh, mountain bike, but my uh, mountain bike also has a, a, a pinion gearbox. Um, my touring bike, which I just uh, will glimpse you now, has a roll off. There it is there. And um, that is was currently chain drive, but I've changed that to a belt drive. And here we can see the benefits of having a belt drive. You just rinse it off. No oiling required, and it's ready to rock and roll again. So the bike already had the had the roll off, um, already had the middle burn cranks. So basically, it was just a case of purchasing this rear cog here, purchasing this front chain ring here, and the belt. And because this roll off, it has the splined. Um, fit in instead of the the old threaded i think they changed it in 2016 i believe um it was just a case of popping off that uh, that ring there with a screwdriver taking the um the normal chain ring off that a normal chain would run on sliding that on and putting the clip back on and then the front here was just a case of changing the four chain ring bolts well not changing them undoing them and uh, just replacing that there um, to fit a belt onto a frame you need to have some way of splitting the frame um, and bike manufacturers started to do that in lots of different ways some they split them on the uh, on the uh, seat stays some split them on the chain stays and some as in this case here there is a split in the dropout so it's just a case of unscrewing those two bolts there and then this um, bit you can see it's in two halves, comes away. Um, roll off recommend, you don't have to, but they recommend fitting a belt snubber. Now the whole idea of this is it's not to touch the belt at all. You need a one millimeter gap and it's just in case the belt does um, lift off the snubber will just stop it from coming all the way off and, and hopefully it'll push it back on and find its find its way. So it was absolutely easy to do. The most worrying thing that I found with the purchase was just wondering if the belt length, because they come in various lengths, if I was going to get that correct. Um, but on the Gates website, you put in your... Um, chain stay length so from center to center and put in there your desirable gear ratio that you want and um, it works it all out for you and gives you some options on different combinations of rear and front rings and also um, different belt lengths that you would need to do that and um, I just went for the uh, smallest one I could have at the front with the biggest one I could have at the back because this gets used for carrying a, a lot of luggage if we're touring and stuff I want it to be easy and I've just come back from a test ride and it is very easy it's easier than the chain that I had at the uh, on it originally but uh, yeah so I've just come back from a test ride and it seems to be working working well so just really impressed Obviously, I could have gone for a different colour, but I went for this belt colour just because it was the cheapest I could find at the moment. Um, but it stands out. Looks okay.